Hello, so, um, I finally decided to catch up on some of my vacuum cleaner videos, um, and it's been a while. I have a few machines that I just have not gotten around to doing videos on, this one being one of them. I've had this well before I owned my Electrolux Oxygen 3, which I've had for quite a while and finally did a review on, um, longer than my, um, Rainbow, I even feel like longer than my filter queen that I just recently posted of course I've only had that for like a week and a half and I was just so gung-ho about getting that finally done but um this is a Simplicity S36 so this is pretty much your Ricar um Impeccable I believe or your Simplicity um now I think this would be the Moxie um, your Gusto would be the highest end, but the Wonder is now the one with the, um, optional, it was with the optional power head, kind of like the Mila C3 Marin, um, or the S8 Marin, used to be optional power nozzle, you chose what worked best for you, and now it comes with the SEB 236, um, 238. So, um, this is a full-size Simplicity canister. I don't honestly know the difference between this and the S38, besides color, I believe everything's the same. Um, you have all fingertip controls with your bag indicator, your, um, uh, what do you want to call it, brush roll indicator, and your filter change indicator as well. And um, this machine is very powerful. Um, and I haven't used it in a while, probably in several months. It claims to have S-Class filtration, but the unfortunate part about it is that it's not sealed. I know that this is upright. There is a gasket around the Heva filter, but there is no gasket around this. And it doesn't actually seal onto the machine very well. There is a gasket inside for the lower portion of your HEPA, and I'll show you a better um, little thing, but even with, so when I pop this on here, okay, this still jiggles, it's still very loose, um, it's not very efficient, I guess I should just say. You have a four-prong electrical, um, cord, which not every canister has, sometimes they're just two prongs, or three, this one happens to have four, probably because it has um, electrical or electronic fingertip controls and whatnot. So, and it also is a swivel neck. Very nice, very heavy duty, well made. And it's got screws on it. So, um, I believe some pieces are probably replaceable on this if it were to need to be replaced. But I'm no expert, so um, got a little bit of dust on it. So, inside your bag shoulder look at that um inside your bag chamber you've got your floor brush they're a little dirty um i've never used this um well i haven't used it recently obviously i've used it you can see it has wheels on it it's extremely small um this is a comparison of my hand so and i don't have abnormally large hands or anything but it's not the largest and you can see the tools just kind of set in there. They don't really lock. So, um, I cannot stand this upholstery tool, dusting brush thing that they've got. It's an upholstery tool. It has to be because your dusting brush is housed on the back of the wand with its combo tool, which is kind of like your three-in-one crevice, quick crevice, I would call it, upholstery tool that actually works better than that. And um, your dusting brush, which is a very nice dusting brush. Your nozzle will fit inside here to be able to use this as a crevice tool. Um, and you can use this in like any configuration you want if you want to do like your stairs or um, something of that nature. Um, they're nice stiff bristles. They seem to grab pet hair pretty well, but it's still not the best upholstery tool to use. Um, I don't really care to use it for the upholstery tool, and I don't really care to use this, because nobody vacuums their upholstery side to side. Um, it's easier to do nice, smooth strokes. This would take forever, plus you barely put, like, any resistance on it, and 
you'll see, well, maybe if I just pinch it like this, if you use it too aggressively or even just too fast, that thing pops right off of there because this isn't a very great locking mechanism. Um, it seems to click into place, but it just, it's not very good. Um, so I don't really care to use it for upholstery cleaning because I think it has a huge downfall with its attachments that it has. But that's just my opinion. Um, I would really like to purchase, and I probably will, it's a toss-up between the Marin and the C3 um, Brilliant. Um, both machines are C3s, but the Brilliant, I'd really like a unique because it has the velvet-lined um, tool compartment and the bumper. And I think that it's kind of crappy that they are charging you the same price for the current outgoing Brilliant without those um, features. And it's got a slightly different paint on it. Um, it's more of a gloss paint, whereas the Unique had like a frosty paint or like a metallic paint to it. So I don't really like that. So I might just end up just sticking with the Marin because um, it's a lot cheaper. And you're really not losing a whole lot of functionality with it. And it's not a good idea to put your tools in with the machine facing upright like this, but I'm going to because I'm making my video. So, you have your retractable cord button and a power on off switch. I don't know if the machine will turn on without the hose attached. It may. So I will flip this down and we will check out this. So the inside of the bag chamber is pretty clean. Obviously these are not genuine bags and it's pretty full. Um, you can see you shouldn't use um, fake bags because there's a brown patch back here where um, the suction is pulling, it's strong and it's pulling all the dirt through or some of the dirt through the bag. You have a pre-motor filter here and I showed you your S-Class filtration, um, which is a thing too. I don't know if that's a really, um, ooh, I don't know if you saw that, but yep, look at that. Isn't it lovely? So, um, we'll have to pick that up. You can see right in there, there's big old dirt glob. So, be careful shutting that, or if you do, make sure your hose is attached so things don't go flying everywhere. Right into your face. This will pop on here. It's not wanting to. There we go. Um, very nice hose, good length, heavy quality, I think. It has a hose strain thing, so it makes the hose gradually um, angle and bow down compared to just a completely flat angle. So the hose is going to last a lot longer with that, which I like, because that way you don't have to worry about um, your hose splitting and replacing it, especially because this is an electronic um, control machine and you do not have to purchase, um, a full-size power head machine with the fingertip controls. You can get finger or a full-size power head without that. You also have a, um, parking thing here on the back, but it, you can't use it with that tool on there. Um, when you pick it up off, you can see the um, tool has already slid out a little bit. Push that back down in there. Um, and there may be another one on the machine somewhere. I think it's on the belly. Yeah, so there's one right here. I don't know if that's only for certain tools or if that, um, that brush piece isn't clipped on there. Um, it'll pop on there. I'm not too, too sure. Um, and I don't know how to read the, um, the dating on these, but it does have the, the, the quad swivel wheels on it. So we'll flip this down gracefully and try and get this to cooperate. There we go, ish. <laughs> Man, so the hose is heavy and it's kind of stiff but you know it it eventually comes around you have a headlight on it and um the headlight seems to dim get brighter and dim down 
when you're going forward and back on certain carpets. Your height adjustment is kind of a, it'll go up and then it'll come back down to the, so it'll go low, extra low, low, medium, high, extra high, then it'll go back down to high, and so it, it just goes up and then it goes down from the highest position. So, um, it has a nice metal base plate on it. Uh, I believe these are made in Korea. Canister power brush. Um, I don't know if the canister, yo, this, this, uh, power brush is made in China, it says on it. So, you know, you're not getting made in the USA like they claim. So, we will plug this in. And we'll do a quick video of it cleaning. Um, or maybe I'll just um, cut this video short and make a part two of it. I'm not too sure. I guess I'll just play it by ear. Because I don't want to rush the cleaning portion. Because I didn't really do um, a oatmeal test with it. Um, you've got your window down there for that. Nice soft rubber bumper, and here's your fingertip controls. Um, you can see the buttons are starting to wear on it already, but that's common with these. So you have your um, off, low, medium, high, max, check bag, service filter, power brush button. So that's on high. Or that's max. This is high, medium. And if you keep trying to press the down button, it won't turn it off. Um, you have to actually press the power off button. Now, if you press the power brush button, the brush roll will turn on first, and the vacuum automatically goes to max mode, um, no matter what setting you had it on last. Um, now, if you turn this down, then turn it off, then turn it on again, it will go back to max mode. So it doesn't have like a memory to it or anything. And um, overall, it does groom the carpet very well. I like it a lot. Um, it's probably the best grooming canister that I have. Second would probably be my um, Electrolux Ultra Silencer. Then my um, Filter Queen is a close third um, neck and neck with the... Um, Electrolux. The TriStar is kind of just scoots across the surface and because I have an earlier model Rainbow um, it doesn't have a very phenomenal power head on it. Um, I guess they redesigned the brush, the 360 brushes to be a little bit more efficient so um, I don't have that. So I'm going to stop this video and then upload a part two of the cleaning. Um, I'm sorry if you're disappointed in this video. I'm not too keen and I don't, I'm not too insightful on the way that the um, Simplicity machines work and how their warranties go or anything like that. If you have any questions, please ask in this video or my part two and I will start the next one now.